Hi, my little girls and goblins. I'm back today with another little mini mukbang and a creepy story. You like my Sons of Anarchy, Scully? <laughs> this is actually David's, but um, I like how it looks on me. <laughs> I never wear hats, but I thought I'd do something different for the video. <laughs> anyway, okay, so today, I have my phone here because I have a story to share with you guys, and I know you guys like all the creepy stuff. So today I'm going to be munching on some pea crisps. I did an ASMR video a while back uh, with these and they are so good and they have like an awesome crunch. So I have another bag that I never opened so I'm going to share it with you guys. So let me open it up and I'll tell you guys what I want to talk about. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have my phone here because it's easier for me to share with you guys the story and then at the end of the video like always I'll put um I'll insert pictures so today I want to talk about Mandy the doll the haunted doll so you guys know that like I'm obsessed with like haunted objects and stuff like that. So I'm always like searching online for items that. <laughs> not to buy them, <laughs> but to share with you guys and to talk about and discuss about, you know, their haunted items that exist out there besides the ones that I've already mentioned in past videos in past mukbangs so today I discovered yet another doll that's haunted and I never heard about it so this is my first time being aware that this doll exists or hearing about it so if it's the first time for you too <laughs> join the club so Mandy the Haunted Doll. Mandy the Doll was donated to the Quesnel and District Museum, British Columbia in 1991. Almost immediately, she gave the impression of being quite a creepy doll, leaving people feeling uneasy, especially when unexplained activity began to take place around her. Mmm. A strange doll. The curator of the Quesno and District Museum, British Columbia, Canada, was sitting at her desk when an antique doll was plonked down in front of her. Being donated to the museum was a 90 plus year old doll. The donor stating that it was getting old was fragile and she did not want her young daughter playing with it and further damaging it. The doll was named Mandy. Mm. These were so good. Okay. The doll named Mandy had belonged to the woman's grandmother, but rather than being sad to be parted with what should have been a treasured possession, the woman seemed anxious to be rid of it. The curator took hold of the doll and immediately felt uneasy. She chalked the feeling up to the fact that the doll had an incredibly creepy look to it. Its clothing was quite old and faded. The soft stuffed part of its body were ripped in places. But most creepy of all was the doll's face. It was realistically painted and had glass eyes, but the forehead over the doll's right eyes was cracked causing the eye to protrude slightly. 
like it was intensely peering at onlookers. That is so creepy. Oh my god. Um, there's a picture. It looks so freaking creepy. I'm going to share with you guys that at the end of the video. Mmm. Mandy was taken to the museum's workroom to undergo some maintenance before it could be placed on display. The doll was enclosed in a plastic bag to test whether bugs had infested it. Any bugs, insects leaving the doll would be caught by the bag, thus letting the museum staff know of infestation. However, the realistic looking scarred doll being placed in a plastic bag added to the uneasiness the museum staff felt when they looked at it. Those working in the same room as the doll swore they heard the bag rustle as if the doll had moved inside and it was not insects causing the movement either. The doll would change positions. Oh my god. That's <laughs> so creepy. Hmm. <laughs> After the initial analysis of the doll was complete, it was time to pho photograph it, a process all artifacts at the museum undergo for the record books. Mandy was photographed and then left in the lab overnight. The next morning when staff re-entered the lab, they found it had been messed up overnight. Smaller objects had been thrown about the room and across the floor. Larger, heavier objects just pushed over on the spot. This would happen any time Mandy was left in a room by herself overnight. The curator likened the mess <clears throat> to what would happen if a child had thrown a tantrum in the room. When Mandy was finally placed on display within the museum itself, she was one of the first things visitors would see as they passed the entryway. They would mostly feel uneasy when looking at the doll there seemed to be something incredibly wrong with it. At times, photographs taken of the doll would not turn out. They would be blurred or have strange light anomalies present in them. Oh no, that's so creepy. <laughs> it got to the point that the uneasiness felt by visitors by the visitors had staff placing Mandy further back in the museum in her own glass display case. Eventually a psychic inquired as to whether they could hold the doll to see what they could pick up. Upon reading the doll, the psychic felt that it had suffered much abuse, but it was not the doll who was suffering, but rather the spirit that inhabits it. What develops from this is an origins a story to the spirit inhabiting the doll. This cannot be proved and may just be legend folklore, but it is believed that the doll was found in the cellar of an old farmhouse. So, origins. Oh my god, there's so, these pictures are, of the doll are so creepy. <laughs> Wait till you guys see it at the end of the video. Mm. A man was walking past the farmhouse when he thought he heard some crying coming from within. The odd part about this child's cry was that the passerby knew the farmhouse to have been empty abandoned, so no child should have been present. He walked up the drive and knocked on the door. No answer. The crying continued, so he had... A look around, he entered the empty farmhouse and discovered the crying came from below his feet. Not knowing how to access the building's cellar from the inside, he went back outside to find the external entrance. As he opened the storm doors, light illuminated the room and he made a shocking discovery. The body of a young girl, long dead, lay on the floor, a doll held in her arms. It is not known why the girl was in the cellar in the first place, whether it was by accident or as some form of crime punishment. Regardless, it is believed that when she died, her spirit decided to inhabit the doll.
a horrible story, and no doubt a story you may not believe. However, this is there is a link between some aspects of the doll's origin and the woman who had donated it to the museum. When strange events surrounding the doll had started to take place at the museum, the curator decided to visit the doll's previous owner. It was here she learned the truth. The owner had not donated the doll for fear of her daughter breaking it. If that was the sole reason, then she would have just placed the doll in a box and out of reach. No. <laughs> mm. The real reason was that when the doll <clears throat> was in her house, the woman could hear her crying coming from the cellar. When she would investigate to find the source of the sound, she would find nobody there. The cellar's window would be open and the doll on the floor. When this began to happen more frequently, she decided to get rid of it and donated it to the Quesno and District Museum. From the very first night that doll was no longer in her house, the unexplained crying had stopped. That is so creepy. Oh my god. I have to show you guys some pictures. Oh my god. It, that doll is so creepy looking. Mm -mm. I don't know. Mm -mm. <laughs> so. <laughs> you know it's funny because David is terrified. My husband is terrified of dolls. And I used to have this doll in my room. <laughs> inside its own case and everything my mom got it for me many years ago and there's nothing wrong with the doll but david is just scared of it he's scared of dolls and the case broke a while back when we were trying to convert um my toddler's um jacob's um crib into a little like day bed and when we were moving stuff around like he bumped into the the little case where the doll was and the case kind of like broke so he had to like he took it to work and he fixed the glass and he closed it up again it's not inside like a wooden case well he keeps he keeps it in his car he has not brought it down i'm put it back up in our room which is where it has always been i have had it for years and you know there's nothing creepy about the doll it's just a pretty doll inside its case but it freaks him out <laughs> but um <laughs> it's funny because the other day I guess he was like browsing online on I don't know if it was Amazon, eBay or whatever and he found a replica of Annabelle the doll but not the real one the one from the movie which is even creepier looking than the real Annabelle doll now I could see why they made they changed the look of the Annabelle doll completely for the movie because the real Annabelle doll is not creepy looking she's just um like a raggedy raggedy Ann doll <laughs> she's just a normal raggedy Ann doll and um it's not as creepy looking as the one from the movie so they made a replica of the one from the movie and he was like he tagged me in it on Facebook. And he was like, oh, you want me to get you one? And I was like, sure. And I was like, we'll see how that's going to work. Because he's terrified of dolls. And I'm sure he's playing around. But if I tell him for real, I want to get it. Get me it. <laughs> he's going to be like, oh, shit. What did I get myself into? <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Okay, so... I like half the bag. <laughs> and that's it. I'm done. I'm full. But I wanted to share this little mukbang with you guys. And the story. Because I came across this story just today. And I was like, oh my god. I have to at least do like a quick little mukbang. And share it with my subbies. Because I know you guys. I've gotten so many requests on these types of videos you know and I've gotten a lot of like positive feedback when I bring out videos like these and you know anything that has to do with like paranormal and 
all those things I know you guys love. So I definitely plan to keep bringing out videos like this for you guys to enjoy. <laughs> all right, guys. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little mini mukbang slash creepy story. <laughs> and like always, I will see you in my next video. All right, guys. Bye-bye.